Hi all, this is Tim Olson of Evolution Software. In today's video, we're going to look at one of the tools of PowerPack that allows you to select and remove features easily. Let's go ahead and display the tool palette for feature selections. And there's three tools in here that we're going to cover. One is the Select Blend Network, the Select Depression Network, and the Select Protrusion Network. And these three tools are great for defeaturing a part, for reapplying features, or perhaps for analysis. The part we have displayed is something we imported from STEP. It has a variety of blends, cutouts, and protrusions that we're going to demonstrate removing. The first thing that we're going to do is remove some of these blends. And so I'll select the Select Blend Network, select the uh, blend on the boss, and I'm just going to hit the Delete key. Uh, next, we're going to select the blend that goes all the way around by just selecting one of the faces. Uh, what's neat about this tool is it looks through all the connectivity of those faces and selects them for you. So that now I can just hit the delete key and have it removed. Now let's run around the sides and likewise delete these blends. Now your best bet for deleting some of these blend networks is to first get any looping blends and then uh, vertical blends. Let's spin our part around and looks, let's look on the inside and we can see we have blends there as well. And let's zoom up and select this blend network. And that gets all of those. And then the sides. One more side. And then let's see if we can get this blend here. And now you can see our part has all the blends uh, removed. Next, let's uh, remove this cutout. And to remove that, we'll go to the depression. And that's whenever a feature is removed material from a part that you can use this tool with. And we'll just select the inside face and then hit the delete key. And now let's try this. Let's turn this around so we can get this feature and hit the delete key. And so now we deleted that whole inside hole. And then lastly, we'll go over to the protrusion. This cylinder is a protrusion on top of uh, the base. It's adding material. We'll select any of these faces and then hit the delete key. And now we're down to our core uh, model. Let's do one more thing. Let's go ahead and remove this shell. And now we just have a block. Alright, thanks for watching. 